Hey y'all, how's it going? We are hitting two birds with one stone today. So <laughs> this video that you're about to watch is going to be about the difference between compost and fertilizer, when to use which, what it means, blah, blah, blah. And then you'll, you'll also recognize a super fashionable, lovely uh, garden getup uh, in the April Garden Tour, which is gonna be posted on Friday. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay y'all, so we've all heard of compost. I feel like it's like one of the like core tenants of the things that you learn when you decide to start gardening is what is compost. <laughs> if you don't know what compost is, compost is a mixture of organic materials that break down over time and feed your soil. Um, really, really good for you. So uh, I make compost at my house. We also have a composting program here in Austin, Texas, curbside, that they come collect the compost. And um, so my compost and my tumble composter isn't actually ready yet. Um, it's still kind of like, it's honestly still gross. I don't know how else to say that. Um, but I really wanted to get some compost that was weed free. I really wanted to get some on my garden, again, to feed the soil. One of my like core tenants of my gardening is that I prefer to feed the soil and not just feed the plants. Cause if you feed the soil, the soil is going to feed your plants. I'll explain more of that in a minute. Today, what I'm using is actually a new product to me, um, and it is called, it is Sustain Naturally Concentrated Compost. Now, I decided to go with this because um, this is concentrated, you can spread it a little more evenly, um, and it's just, it's a new product that I wanna try, and it's organic. It's from a company called Earth Easy. Um, they're actually a great, great company, um, and they have a lot of good stuff on their site that has to do with gardening, especially raised garden setups. Like, I dream someday of having one of their uh, deer-proof raised garden setups um, and just having a big, beautiful cedar garden. Anyways, so for today's purposes, we're gonna be using this compost. Now, the first thing to know about compost versus fertilizer is it's kind of like, a square is a rectangle, but a rectangle is not a square. So like compost can be fertilizer, but fertilizer can't be compost. So let me explain. Also, I have a garden friend who I is, is like a soil scientist and I cannot wait for what he has to say in the comments because I know it's gonna be so knowledgeable and we're all gonna benefit from it. So Gary, I invite you to spread your knowledge in the, uh, in the comment section, but Compost uh, is going to be something that feeds your soil. It's going to really get into the microbiome. It's going to break down. It's gonna encourage all that microorganism life and like different bacteria and funguses and that's all good stuff. And that's a lot of why I don't till, right? So um, big reason why I don't till is because I don't wanna disturb the microbiome as much as I have to, to be able to work with the land. So. That's kind of the skinny on compost. Now, fertilizer is usually a chemical compound that's gonna be used to feed your plants. So fertilizer is gonna be something that feeds your plants but doesn't necessarily build the soil. Now you can get organic fertilizer <laughs> that is going to help the soil too. So that's why this all gets a little bit hairy. I fertilize when I have to, um, or when I know that my plants need something. So for example, I use tomato tone on my plants. And once we're back in my home garden, I'll talk more about fertilizer, because I tend to use more fertilizer in my home garden than I do here, um, because here I've spent the last three years building the soil. Um, so honestly, I don't really need to fertilize. I always use a little bit of tomato tone on my tomatoes at the beginning of the season, um, just so they can kind of get that little boost, and then I don't actually fertilize them again. So we'll talk a little bit more about fertilizer when we get back to my home garden, but here I really try and strictly use compost. So compost can be composted cow manure, it can be chicken meal, it can be bone meal, it can be blood meal, it can be this concentrated compost that I'm gonna use today. So compost is gonna be a good soil builder, whereas fertilizer is gonna be a good plant food grower. <laughs> so let me open this bag and show you what this looks like. Now I will say, Compost can be gross. Compost can be smelly. I hope that one day when I have my own property, I can actually have a, a whole composting system similar to what we have here at the community garden um, that actually like heats up and like breaks down all this stuff. Um, Charles Downing is like a chef's kiss example of composting and all that good stuff. Um, but not quite there yet, that's okay. 
this is what urban gardening is all about is we got to make do with what we got so the reason I decided to go with concentrated compost is just because I know myself and I don't have the time um, or the strength at this point in the season because I'm working so much my actual full-time job um, to like go to the store get the compost come do the work da 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 so we're taking a little bit of a shortcut hopefully this shortcut doesn't bite me in the booty but we'll see also can I just tell you guys I've been here for like two hours and I am I'm tired and I should have done this Ugh. I should have actually done this before I watered so I could have watered it in but it's it's okay you don't know I said to that is the best practice though, is if you're using fertilizer or compost. Ugh. If you're using fertilizer or compost, you should definitely uh, water it in. We'll grab some gloves and I'm just gonna spread this all over my garden. Okay. So this whole bag actually covers 360 square feet of space. So I have a 10 by 20 foot plot and then I have another half a plot. So, uh, this 10 foot by 20 foot plot is 200 square feet of growing space. Um, and then the half a plot will make up. So I'll probably just go ahead and use this whole bag. So this concentrated compost is certified bio-based by the USDA. It's registered with the CFDA for organic input. It is part of the US Composting Council seal of testing assurance. Um, it's OMRI listed for organic use. So pretty down with that. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna come in here and get this started. Okay y'all, so that's how we use compost, or that's how I use compost in my garden. Uh, I think I am gonna give it a quick water in because it's a little windy today. But meet me over at the home garden. I've been weed whacking for like two hours y'all hey y'all okay we are back at the backyard garden and now we're gonna talk about fertilizer now I use fertilizer in a lot of my containers so I have my little container orchard right here I also have my Vego garden bed and then we also have a grow bag alley which is hopefully gonna be a giant cucumber loofah gourd wall over here. So with all of these containers, what you have to remember is there's actually not like a microbiome to work with the way that you would work with that in ground soil. So like we talked about with in ground soil, there's like a microbiome that you're working with, right? So you have all of these different like bugs and all of this stuff that gets in the dirt. You don't have that when you're working in a closed container because you have an enclosed environment. So at that point, that's when I use fertilizer um, because that's gonna have everything that the plant needs. So I really like tomato tone for my tomatoes. I do that once per season, a couple weeks after they've been transplanted. Um, I also use um, citrus tone for my potted citrus trees. Um, and then I also, I will use this now. The numbers on your fertilizer are stand for NPK, which is nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. I failed chemistry three times, but apparently I retained something, so there's that. So what you wanna look for on your numbers um, really depends on what you're fertilizing. So something like flowers that are gonna be more on the blossoming end, they're gonna want a lot more phosphorus. Um, one of the reasons I put bone meal on my onions is because they need phosphorus. Some uh, tomato, like the tomato tone, is going to be a little more heavy on the nitrogen. Some things are a little more heavy on the potassium. If you deal with blossom end rot, that can be a calcium deficiency, which is also impacted by potassium. So really, if you're first getting into fertilizer, it's really important to do a lot of research to make sure you're not giving your plants something that they don't need or maybe too much of what they do or don't need. So definitely be careful with fertilizer. I use a balanced fertilizer on all of my containers um, after I top them off for the season. 
like I said, I use tomato tone once a season, and then I use citrus tone once a month um, while the plants are blossoming and then fruiting, um, since they're in that really enclosed environment. And it takes a lot of energy for plants to produce plants to produce stuff. So I'm actually gonna spread the rest of the concentrated compost that we just talked about. I'm gonna spread that in my beds um, just because I feel like things need a little bit of an oomph. Now I will say for this, my peppers were looking a little rough, probably because I planted them a smidge too early. Just a smidgen. Um, so I went through and I just gave each plant a little bit of fertilizer. And since I did that, the new leaves on the peppers are starting to look really nice and green. Um, I didn't really amend these beds as much as I probably should have, um, but like I've said a million times, we are moving out of this house next year. I'm gonna have to undo this whole garden in the backyard in the fall. And so, just is what it is this year. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you learned the difference between what all of these crazy things are. Um, and yeah, whether you use compost or fertilizer or whatever you use, I'm just happy you're growing things. <laughs> and I'm happy if they're happy. Um, and yeah, thanks so much for watching. Happy gardening. We'll see you next time.